Men categorize women in one of four ways. Mothers, virgins, sluts, and bitches. Three hoes, trifecta, dope money, coke money, shoe blow, my watch better, my pen's better, you don't write, trendsetter, you clone like, pay homage or case bomb at ungrateful niggas I don't like. They told him don't you ever come around here, don't want to see your face, you better disappear. The fire's in their eyes and the words are really clear, so beat it, just beat it. You better run, you better do what you can The one to see the blood to Imagine there's no heaven Hello and welcome back to me sitting in my car talking about celebrities that I hate. You guys have been requesting this one, so today I'm talking about Amber Heard. Amber Heard's a victim. Actress, but I only know about her because and of her accusations on against Johnny that. Depp. I'm on hashtag Team Amber. J-U-S-D-I-C-F-O-R-A-M-B-R-H-E-A-R-D think that Johnny Depp is just a victim it must be so sweet being that ignorant <laughs> I feel so horrible for that woman and the way TikTok even just TikTok is treating her it's disgusting justice for Amber Heard He's had 10 years of flops. Yes, he's been in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, which the last one made $800 million. Fantastic beats, millions and millions of dollars. But those are ensemble cast. Any time that Johnny Depp has led a film on his own, it's been a flop for but 10 years. But you want to know what? If he, like, backed away from the cameras, backed away from Hollywood for a bit, mm -hmm. got lots of therapy, mm -hmm. and, lo and more than that, lots right. of therapy, mm -hmm. and just laid low, mm -hmm. maybe took a shower, <laughs> cut his hair, mm -hmm. like cut his hair. They, like Hollywood is different to men than they are to women. Absolutely, and I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah, because it's unfair. And it's a really valid point. It is unfair. Mm -hmm. Now I do. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. 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 Nope. Okay, I realize that my page is not a Johnny Depp page, but I'm really into the case. Um, and this is for the Johnny Depp people. Um, I want to know your thoughts after you do this little exercise. And the exercise is for one minute, maybe not even one minute, um, believe her. For one minute, believe her and think about what it may be like to be in her shoes because I think it must be excruciatingly painful. Just think about it. And um, it was and... I went to the doctor and Jenny darling No you no you you no no you 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 I wanna feel safe. I wanna feel safe. I fucking don't feel it. I don't feel safe. I don't feel I'm looking at fucking apartments half the time. I mean like not half the time. I fucking I don't wanna do that. I'm married. I wish you would have told me. I couldn't. I couldn't talk to you. You were busy. You were going to rehearsals and every time I tried to talk to you a little bit, I, it wasn't we didn't have enough time. You were every time I spoke to you in that whole week you were rushing out. You never did you have time. I and I even that. said this to you. I was there right after rehearsals. Please don't argue with me. I promise you that I'm not lying when I say this. I even said this to you. I said, I feel like the last thing you have time for is me. I just want a little time. Ten minutes. Whatever. And it was... It didn't have time. I was... And then when I, when I finally talked to you, which I carried it around all week, when I finally talked to you, I said this to you. <laughs> Yeah. 
he got very agitated by the fact that she and I thought it was funny. And he started to get um, more and more agitated and I could hear him walk away from the phone. He came clomping back down the stairs and I heard like a noise and then the phone dropped and um, he said to her, oh, you think I hit you? You think I fucking hit you? What if I peel your fucking hair back? And then I heard the phone drop again and then I heard her scream. I remember her screaming. And I hung up the phone and I called Raquel immediately because I know that she lives one door away and would her and her boyfriend, Josh, who's a big dude, would be able to get there the fastest. And uh, I, I called her, texted her right away, and I hung up with her and immediately called 911 in New York. And then I called <clears throat> a friend of mine in LA who I knew had met Amber a number of times, and I think I may have placed a second call. Do you recall testifying to that effect, that Johnny charged at you and then you were scared? He charged towards me and I was scared. I ran past him. You didn't run past him because he told everyone in that penthouse to get out of his penthouse? I ran past him for t because he was, because he ran into the unit and it scared the shit out of me because he was wasted and screaming. So that's why I ran out. If there's a grown ass man coming at you and saying, get your bitch out of here and swing a magnum sized bottle of wine, I'm sure, I don't know what anyone do. <laughs> I can't say what anyone do, but I ran. Sometimes all I think about is you, late nights in the middle of June. He always been faking me out, he always been faking me out. Have you been watching the trial this past week? Um, I've seen clips of it online, yeah. You've been watching, so you have seen parts of this trial? Yeah. Okay, and witness testimonies? Yeah, I've seen clips of You've seen him, thanks. Yeah. All right, you're excused, ma'am. You can have, you're excused. Okay. Thank you. I will, I will instruct the jury they'll have to strike the testimony of Ms. Dewars. That first case in London, how did that pan out? The judge in the case, who is a renowned expert on libel, looked at all the evidence and decided that, he joined up the dots and decided that on the balance of evidence, it was substantially true that Johnny Depp was a wife beater. So it didn't go that well for him.
so a resounding defeat for Johnny Depp first time around in London. Why then is he doubling? Yeah, resounding. I mean, really, really resounding. I mean, the, the judge's verdict was damning on Johnny Depp. So if he's so thoroughly defeated in the UK, why then double down in the US and, and go through it all again? If Johnny Depp loses this trial, his career is toast. I mean, it's not in that good shape anyway. And this is the last throw of the dice. He's trying to persuade some good American citizens in Fairfax County, Virginia, that actually everything he's been saying all along is right. But there is now a body of public opinion, evidence, high court rulings in, in London that paint him as someone capable of physical... Amber left a bruise kit in one of the photos. The exact bruise kit. Ben Nye bruise kit. These are the same colors. I use a, like a, a bruise kit. Not a bruise kit, it's a theater. Johnny had the bottle inside of me. And was... <laughs> shoving it inside of me over and over again. does is he takes eight to ten tablets of ecstasy almost immediately and the next three days are just a, a, a cycle of, of a very 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 violent uh, uh, activity by him Amber keeps trying to calm him down she tries to get him to eat she tries to get him to sleep she tries to do these things and he would just at different he was you know at times delusional paranoid he would be you know mad at somebody else then he'd be mad at her uh, and by the way, we'll talk about the prenup, but he called her lawyer, who she had because she wanted to give him a prenup and then they got married too quickly, so she was going to give him a postnup. He called the lawyer from Australia, called her a bitch, and fired her. You'll hear the testimony from the lawyer on that. Um, that's the type of Johnny Depp that was there. And he didn't want the postnup, he didn't want the prenup. But now they're going to tell you that's, that, that it was her that was mad. You're going to hear she had a lawyer and she was cooperating completely on that. So as you go through those three days of Australia, some pretty horrendous things happen to her. He rips off her nightgown. He has her jammed up against a, a bar. He has hurled bottles and bottles at her. He has dragged her across the floor on the broken bottles and the liquor. He has punched her. He has kicked her. He tells her he's going to fucking kill her. He fucking hates her. He's pounding at her, pounding her, and then he penetrates her with a liquor bottle. I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. And I don't know how that ended. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know what happened next. I don't understand this. I, 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 I will, when I, the, the next thing I remember, I was bent over um, backwards on the bar, meaning my chest was up. I was staring at the blue lights and my chest was on this, my back was on the countertops and I, Thought he was punching me. I thought he was. I was sorry. God. He was. His. I felt this pressure. I felt this pressure. He on my pubic bone. And I, he thought he was. I thought he was punching me. I just saw his arm. I could feel his arm moving, and I, it looked like he was punching me. But I could just feel this pressure. It was like it kept hitting. It, it didn't feel pain. It was just a pressure on my pubic bone, and.
This is the video you made when you drove to Coachella with your friends for your 30th birthday, right? That's correct. I'm not quite sure which one of us made the video, but that's correct. You're featured in that video, driving. That's correct. And it's set to the song Miss You by the Rolling Stones, is that right? That's correct. That was a message for Mr. Depp, wasn't it? No, that's ridiculous. Let's burn amber. Three excl exclamation points, right? You see that? I do see that. And at this time, June 11, 2013, Amber is your girlfriend or, or perhaps even your fiance at this point, correct? Uh, yeah. Girlfriend, yeah. for sure. And, and, and you didn't stop when you said, let's burn Amber. Because the, the next text down, you can move down and blow up the next text, please, Michelle. You say, let's drown her before we burn her. Three exclamation points. Did I read that right? Uh, yes, it's referring and, and, to the text prior to. You, you the, didn't stop when Batman. you said, let's drown her before we burn her. After that, you made another comment. I will f her burnt corpse afterwards to make sure she is dead. That's what you said that you would do after you burned her and after you drowned her. Did I read that right? You certainly did, yes. Sir. And you wrote that about the woman who would later become your wife. Yes, I did. Okay. On January 17th, 2013, Mr. Depp, you texted the following. For the idiot cow, three exclamation points. Next text. Will do. I'll smack the ugly <laughs> around before I let her in. Don't worry. And apologies again to the court and the jury for this language. And then you close by saying, did that worthless hooker arrive? Did I read that right? You did, sir. You said, I'm all right. I dot, 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 though I never, ever want to lay eyes on that filthy whore, Amber A, most embarrassing. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. And, and when you called... Amber, that filthy whore, she was your wife at the time, correct? Yes, sir. You tell Mr. Baruch on October 18th, 2016, hopefully that rotting corpse is decomposing in the trunk of... Johnny, ever since he's shy, okay, if people knew what he was really like, his career would be over. Johnny is now being sued by a crew member who worked on Johnny's upcoming movie, City of Lies. Uh, yeah, so Greg Brooks worked as a location scout on the film, and he claims that shooting one scene, Johnny became irate and punched him twice in the lower left side of his rib cage. Yeah, if anybody gives you any shit, just beat the <laughs> fuck out of him. <laughs> the High Court judge ruled that the newspaper's claim in 2018 that he'd assaulted his ex-wife, Amber Heard, was substantially true. A man who assaulted his wife on more than 14 occasions, who left her fearing for her life. Amber Heard had photographs. She where I could tell several feet away, of course, from the gallery, and we could hear her starting to sob. It was like, I said, I, I didn't think she was going to make it out of the courtroom before she had a complete breakdown. And once that door opened, I could hear her get louder, and they shut the door, of course, but she really did seem affected by about almost running into her ex-husband there, Johnny Depp, and then, of course, what she was just telling the jury, reliving, it, it really did seem to affect her, and she didn't know that the cameras were really on her as she was making her way out of that courtroom. Right, and, you know, based upon the testimony today, this would be her going past the man she says sexually assaulted her as well. I mean, it's her ex-husband and, and all of that, but based upon... T what many people had assumed is that you know there was a honeymoon period and that Johnny Depp had charmed and been amazing at the beginning and Amber Heard had fallen in love. What we realized by observing the trial is that actually there'd been a very short period of love bombing of Amber Heard. And that very, very early on, Amber Heard said that the abuse and the jealousy and the coercive control had begun. The Amber and Johnny relationship is about power. It's about a power imbalance. 
Johnny was a lot more famous. While on the outside they looked like this fairy tale A-list couple, it was actually very, very dark behind the scenes. And Amber was stuck in a relationship that actually seemed nothing short of a nightmare. You poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? Yeah. Oh, you're crazy. Um, do you recall Mr. Depp ever telling you that he, in base terms, uh, hoped that Amber's rotting corpse is decomposing Objection, in the right. trunk of a Honda Civic? I'll lie. I'm not understanding the question. Say it again. Do you recall Mr. Depp ever telling you that he hoped that Amber Heard's rotting corpse is decomposing in the fucking trunk of a Honda Civic. Objection. I I'll allow it. Yeah. You can answer the question, sir. Yeah, that, well, I say, yeah, I'm seeing. His account was that he was well behaved on the plane. He had been sketching in his uh, sketchbook, which he liked to do. Um, unfortunately, for Mr. Depp, his texts tell a very different story. Mr. Depp himself wrote um, a, a text to one of his actor friends. I'm going to properly stop the booze thing, darling. Drank all night before I picked Amber up to fly to LA this past Sunday. Ugly mate, no food for days, powders, half a bottle of whiskey, a thousand Red Bull and vodkas, pills, two bottles of champers on the plane. And what do you get? An angry agro Indian in a fucking blackout, screaming obscenities and insulting any fuck who got near. And then um, went to the bathroom, toilet, the back of the plane where he passed out. So a very different story from the account that he was quietly sketching on the plane. After listening to the recording, Mr. Depp said he didn't recognize himself. It sounded more like an animal in pain. It's alleged that before he blacked out, he called Amber Heard a slut and a whore before slapping her across the face and kicking her in the face. <laughs> much more famous and had a bigger voice than her even though people were telling her that she was lying and not believing her it took a lot of courage i'm screaming help as loud as i can this case involves not just one incident of domestic violence this case involves 14 pleaded cases there were medical records texts to her mother and her friends and it tells a story that it's very difficult to contradict point about the an appeal is that the appeal has to go forward on the basis that the judge who heard the witnesses decided that he believed the evidence of Amber Heard and didn't believe the evidence of uh, Johnny Depp 
that's the basis on which the appeal is heard. It has to be effectively a complete legal howler from the judge. Now, he was uh, a professor at the LSE of law before he went into becoming a barrister. He writes one of the key books, the key legal texts on libel law. And in those circumstances, the chances of him having made a legal howler are very remote. And he's carefully reasoned this judgment over 585 paragraphs. He's looked at all the evidence and he's explained the reasons in detail. This case is unappealable in London. Now, I understand from PR terms why Depp's legal team would want to say that they're appealing because it casts some shadow of doubt over the current verdict. But I'm here to tell you that verdict is solid, that is unappealable, and that Depp can ask. It's his right to ask for an appeal, but he won't get it. I want to be as beautiful as the ocean. The ocean's strong as fuck. And feminine as fuck. And they both are what makes the ocean the ocean. Help me get away from Mr. Depp was trying to urinate in the foyer, wasn't he? No. Mr. Depp had his penis out. Objection. Pants, didn't he? I think it would have made relevance. Mr. Depp. Uh, I'll allow it. Next question. And you were trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house. It affected my safety, dealing with somebody who is really high, dealing with Johnny high on coke and, and speed, meaning Adderall or some version of that, is different from the opiate Johnny, which is different from the booze Johnny, or a different combination, and there was talk of quaaludes at the time, and Johnny was trying to get it from... Objection, Your Honor. The quaalude, or lewd, as it is commonly referred to, was first synthesized in 1951 by an Indian doctor, that's dots, not feathers, as a sedative and was prescribed to stressed out housewives with sleep disorders. But pretty soon, someone figured out that if you resisted the urge to sleep for just 15 minutes, you got a pretty kick-ass high from it. Didn't take long for people to start abusing lewds, of course. And in 1982, the US government schedule won them, along with the rest of the world, which meant there was only a finite amount of these things left. No shit, you can't even buy them anymore. You people are all shit out of luck. Big Papa, I'm sunny. I spot the dick when she wanted. 